Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed, November 12, 2012, 45 minutes after midnight, Birmingham, Alabama. Topic, two parts here, and the first part is why no one knows what will happen on December 21st, 2012. That is one month and 10 days away from today. And the hype is beginning to build again. And on the internet, there are literally thousands of different views. And when you narrow those down and when you group them together, there are still dozens and dozens of different views of different things from the world ending to a new world beginning um, to nothing occurring and then some sort of demons are released and this new group planet's going to come by and and uh, fallen angels that destroyed the world basically and made God flood the earth by water they hopped onto a planet that swung on out to space, you know. So people are saying they're going to return on Nubiru. And then other people say, no, Nubiru is going to crash into Earth. Other people say, no, it's going to go between the Earth and the Sun. Hundreds, hundreds. But 90% of everyone that says something's going to happen says something's going to happen. Something's going to hurt us. Let me tell you the reason everybody is wrong. Guess why? It's because there's only one. Re regardless of how many different views, although every religion, even the American Indians, had the same type of calendar and the same end date, is the Mayans and Chinese have it? Tribes in Russia has it. Um, India. Everyone has the same thing, more or less. It's just that, who is it? Is it a, is it a feathered dragon, a flying dragon? You know, everybody has a similar image, too. And it appears that it is a dragon. American Indians shows a picture of a feathered dragon. And the Mayan shows a, another different type of dragon. But who knows what's going to happen December 21st, 2012. Well, nobody knows. Because only God knows. No one can read the future. No one has ever been able to read the future. All the predictions made by all these people for all these years simply read the Bible. And the Bible gives us predictions. And every prediction that the Bible has given so far has come true. The Bible's batting a hundred. And no other person on earth has been able to make three predictions so many years in advance that did come true. Not yet. But the Bible, out of over a thousand prophecies, 500 have been fulfilled, and the last several hundred will be fulfilled during the tribulation. The next prophecy that needs to be fulfilled is called the rapture. And then after that, there's a multitude of prophecies that will be fulfilled in a very short time in a seven-year period. But no one knows what's going to happen on December 21st, 2012. I will say what I've always said. We will wake up December 22nd, 2012, and nothing will have changed. Now, let me move on to another part. Here in America, we all elected Obama again. Uh, not we, but America did. And let me mention this to you. 
What if you went to bed every night and you prayed, excuse me, and you said, God, I, I really, really need, and I need a new car. Mine is getting to a point where it's, it's giving me problems. And you pray, and the next day you got up, and wow, suddenly you found the money to buy a new car. Well, and you know, a couple weeks later down the road, God, God, I, I sure would like to take a good long vacation. And all of a sudden you, you find the way to take a good long vacation. And then you get a new house. And then you get a new puppy. In other words, everything you ask for is given to you automatically by God. Now, go to Obama. And what's happening? Everything just about that everybody that's not working, that's sitting on their behind, drawing a check every month, is doing just that. They expect it. Of, and Obama is giving it. Why should they work? They shouldn't. Why should they screw up a good thing? They shouldn't. Or should they? That's what sets apart a training in the way that you will live the rest of your life. Will you sit down and let a check come to you every month via Obama? Or would you rather sit down and let a funds or something come in every month from God? Which one's right? Neither one of them are. Both are wrong. Because if it happened that way, you never have an incentive to get and go get a job. And the Bible clearly says, if a man does not work, then a man don't eat. The Bible says that. Clearly says it. So, Obama is paying people not to work. He's, he's given them that incentive because a lot of people will go to work and actually make actually make less money than they do by not doing anything. But what have you taught them? You've taught generations to depend on the government. This is why governments fall. This is why people become imprisoned by their government. God he can do anything, literally anything. He can give every man, woman, and child in this world every day anything that they want, anything they ask for. But what would be the incentive for you to try to do something for yourself? The one that is able to to give you anything that far exceeds your wildest dreams will not give you that because you cannot sit on your butt the rest of your life and let God supply your every need. If you work for it, earn it, pray for it, you get right with God, accept Christ, and you do the biblical right thing for your family. The man is the head of the family. Teach your children in the way that they need to go, and they'll not depart from it. If it's in a biblical perspective, then they will learn, and they will be far better off than those who have no incentive to teach their children anything. Think about that. It's there for a reason. Jody Wolf, Exposed.